Tonight's Color Tense Daniel Shedd will take a closer look into the world of sports and the underlying injuries keeping our youth sidelined. Tonight, on this Independence Day weekend, we take a closer look at America's pastime. Daniel. Over 4 million children play baseball in the U.S. every year with the hopes of making it to the big leagues. Nick Petrie exceeded those expectations, but a series of injuries forced him to retire from the game long before his dream was over. Baseball is a numbers game. 90 foot paths marked by 15 inch bases. Batting averages, slugging percentages, and runs batted in display in bright lights and shine from the outfield. There's an island in the center, a holy ground of sorts. The ignition point for a battle that rages 60 feet 6 inches away at home plate every game. In 2015, Missouri State's Nick Petrie stood tall on the rubber. He demanded the attention of Giants. The 2012 Collegiate Baseball Player of the Year had been picked by the St. Louis Cardinals in the ninth round of the 2013 draft. He climbed his way back to Hammonds Field to play for the Springfield Cardinals. His right-handed delivery had brought him back home. But with every pitch and every waning inning, his love for competition slowly gave way to the numbers. His baseball career eliminated by another statistic. I, I knew the pitch. Um, it was in a, a second inning of a game. I threw. I, I didn't know what was wrong with it at the time, but I knew there was something wrong with it and um, walked back in. And, and by the time I, I walked back in, I really couldn't straighten my arms. Nick Petrie's freshman season at Missouri State was spent in rehab. One pitch, and there it was. Recovering from Tommy John surgery. I never really had any arm problems. So it was, initially it was like, this is kind of weird. You know, maybe it's just like a, a forearm thing, whatever. Um, but obviously that wasn't the case. The UCL is a ligament in the elbow that connects the humerus bone to the ulna bone in the form. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like this rubber band. Every time a pitcher throws a baseball, the ligament or rubber band stretches a little bit. You can imagine over the course of a season or a career that the rubber band might tear or just completely snap. And that's what requires surgery. Repairing the ulnar collateral ligament in the elbow was a surgery first performed on Major League pitcher Tommy John by Dr. Frank Job back in 1970. Initially, it was a surgery reserved for the professional elite, but in recent years has spread like an epidemic, reaching even the youngest of athletes. In a study done at the American Sports Medicine Institute in Birmingham, Alabama, the surgery increased over six-fold among their medical staff at the turn of the century. According to the American Orthopedic Society for Sports Medicine, the surgery has increased over 9% each year since then, and from the years 2007 to 2011, over 56% of its patients were teens between the ages of 15 and 19 years old. Pitchers are starting out younger, getting better and better, and, and pitching more and more. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, uh, rate of injury has also gone up accordingly. Dr. Chris Miller is an orthopedic surgeon with Cox Health in Springfield and shadowed Dr. Frank Job in Los Angeles after his five-year residency. We harvest a tendon, uh, uh, this palmaris longus, which, which nobody misses. Uh, Dr. Job used to say God put it there uh, for us to be able to reconstruct people's elbows. After the surgery, the body begins the long process of turning that tendon into a ligament. So a tendon basically attaches a muscle to a bone, whereas a ligament attaches two bones together. And as a result, a long one-year rehab is necessary for players to return to the mound. It was just a long, drawn-out process, and, and it was uh, physically demanding as well as very, very mentally demanding as well. It, it was definitely the first time I religiously did arm care. The ASMI reports that more than 80% of athletes returned to their original level of play post-surgery, and Nick Petrie was no exception. 85 to 88-ish, and then uh, my freshman year, right after that surgery, um, first outing, I was, you know, 89, 90. He went on to become the Valley Freshman of the Year in 2011 and the first in program history to become the National Player of the Year in 2012. 12. The icing on the cake, though, was being drafted by his hometown team. It was, it was a dream come true. But his time wearing red and white was short lived. We got an MRI, injuries happen. Petrie was forced to retire at the age of 25. Any, any day could end. With his second UCL tear. And tomorrow night in part two of Sideline, we'll take a deeper look into the trends of Tommy John surgery and also what athletes can do to protect their elbows. Very